Hi Roman, it's lovely to meet you. Um, we're here at your um, new Farnham restaurant. How are the preparations going? I think very well, okay. We're starting obviously organizing training the team. We'll have two weeks of training before we actually open the restaurant. Training in the kitchen, training in the front of us. You know, really, so it's a hub of activity, teaching people, preparing them, empowering them to be ready when we open. So all these kids, a lot of them from Surrey, from this town, from Amsha as well, okay, are, are, are working, learning the craft. How important is the teaching process to you? Well, I think teaching is everything. Is what we are missing in this country is the knowledge, okay, and the teaching is part of handing over knowledge, sharing it, okay, and really it's more what we are missing in Great Britain for so many years. It's young British kids who actually cook in their local restaurant. Now it's happening more and more. And why did you um, choose Farnham for your next restaurant? For well, the last three years we look for Farnham, so we had to wait a long time. So Farnham is really a lady who likes to, 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 to be waited upon, you know, we looked for so long. But we wanted the right place. We just didn't want a restaurant. It had to be really something very special. Great things happen to those who wait. Are you using local businesses to source? Um, oh your yes, property? we are. And uh, uh, since next two weeks and three weeks during the training period, you will see me and my chefs, okay, uh, VJ and uh, and Clive Fetwell, really just connecting with the local producers. So we are in the winter at the moment. I must say, the vegetables are a bit scarce. And that's a problem about England, really, Great Britain, but winters is a bit of a problem, but we have some amazing meat, some amazing fish, okay, so we look very much forward to work. Can people of Farnham expect to see you at the restaurant from time to time? Yes, from time to time, yes. Not every day, I wish I could, uh, because after all, we have 19 Brasserie Blanc, okay, but I have some amazing people, they say here, we've got Clive Fredway, who's the executive chef, but Sam who has worked with me, Clive Fredway has worked with me 28 years, PJ for, for six years, okay, Sam for seven years, so we've got good, strong generals and field marshals who will carry my vision, and of course I am involved, it's not just a brand you put, that would be cynical, you have my values here, 80% of the recipes are my recipes, at least. Okay, so there's a very strong involvement of Raymond Blanc into Brasserie Blanc and in creating the experience that you expect to be special.